there is excitement in Santa Fe over a new arena soccer team that might be coming to town later this year. You see, last month, city officials announced a new major arena soccer league team will start this coming December. Now, there's no mention of how much it's going to cost the city, but it does say they plan to play a minimum of six home games at the city-run Genoveva Chavez Community Center in the ICE area. Now, they will reportedly put down indoor turf to protect the ice and allow the soccer team to play. That announcement made it sound like it was pretty much a done deal. Lots of details, adding there will be town hall discussions with the team owner. However, now there are some raising the alarm about how the city plans to change things at the community center. Plus, we learned this is not a done deal. And there's now a growing call for some Santa Fe elected officials to intervene. Truly, it, it is great seeing those five and six year olds that are so excited and a little nervous getting out there on the ice for the first time. Tammy Berenson loves, above all, seeing young people learn something new. They are coming off the ice with these huge smiles and they can't wait to go back out there. She's the president of the Santa Fe Skating Club and directs the Learn to Skate program. She says they've taught 500 people how to skate since 2017 at the Genoveva Chavez Community Center. It's a family affair for us, and it's a family affair for so many other people that are involved in skating. Then, when she read the city's press release, that at least six weekends, starting in the busiest winter sports season, the ice would become a turf arena. I was angry. <laughs> Berenson says there are greater concerns about the ice going away for good, considering conversations during the pandemic. June of 2020, about whether or not the city was actually going to decide to do a permanent conversion of the ice rink at that point in time to an indoor multi-use field. She has these concerns, even though she doesn't skate herself. Is a birth defect, so I've you know had it my entire life. But I became a lover of the sport of figure skating when I was 16 during the Calgary Olympics. That's her with her daughter at the GCCC in 2019. It's not a team sport, and you learn discipline and perseverance, and you get out there and you work and you work and you work. She's hoping this ice and the lessons learned there will continue in the future. And it is such a great you know, skill to be able to have in life, to learn that not everything is easy, and there are certain things that, that take a lot of time and effort. David Fresquez, the owner of the yet-to-be-named, yet-to-be-rostered arena soccer team, we spoke with him on the phone today and this afternoon. He had a very similar goals as Tammy Berenson and wants the soccer team to be a resource for the kids of Santa Fe. I do intend for this team to continuously bring together the community even tighter than it already is. You know, my niece and nephew skate in the hockey rink all the time. So this is not for this soccer franchise to take away ice time from the youth. That is certainly not my intention. Fresquez did not answer questions about how much public funding he's looking for to get his soccer team off the ground. The city sent us a statement that said it is their intent to minimally impact the ice skating community, and they are still getting quotes on the cost.